In this video, my assistant and I will be reviewing some sensible and scary neck pain relief techniques that use cervical traction. Hello and welcome to the Physio Channel. My name is Dan and this is my assistant, Dan. I'm just about to show you my favorite neck traction techniques. But before I do, let's see what's coming up. Here are four different neck traction techniques. This first technique is the forearm roll. So place the forearm underneath the patient's neck, just underneath the back of the head, underneath the occiput. And from this position, when you roll the forearm upwards into pronation, it will gently pull on the back of the head and start to cause some traction, gently pulling the head away from the neck. To increase the intensity of the technique, Take one hand around the chin and then gently pull on the chin as well as rotating the forearm to traction over that suboccipital region and under the chin. You may also see a hand hold over the top of the chin like so, which is an alternative, but most of my patients prefer this side hold over the chin. Another technique is to simply grab around the back of the neck, getting as much contact with the skin as you can and then using a bit more body weight, typically if you're standing or sitting down, you lean back, pull through your arms, and this will impart some gentle traction using the back of the neck as your contact point. However, it does leave the chin free, so it's hard to get enough grip in order to create a decent amount of traction. So to remedy that, you can cup around the back of the neck with one hand and then come around the chin creating a stronger traction with an anterior and posterior contact under the chin and under the neck. This next technique is possibly the one that my patients like the most. Get your fingertips and create some vertical upward pressure into the suboccipital muscle group on the back of the head. I'll show a picture on the screen here of those suboccipital muscles that we're targeting. Getting in there with some sustained pressure can feel very therapeutic. And what you can then do is slightly angle your fingers towards you so that you can then impart a gentle traction force as well as applying that sustained pressure to the muscle group. As I mentioned, this is a great technique that patients like, but as you can probably see right now, it is also quite hard on the fingers and very quickly you'll get some significant fatigue in your fingers and in your hands with an individual patient and especially if you're doing this repeatedly throughout the day. These techniques work best when they are performed slowly and the patient is relaxed. Some relaxing music may also help. Now you may have seen these Y straps on YouTube. It's not the strap itself that's dangerous, it's the way it's used and the potential to create massive leverage. So it took me a while to persuade my assistant Dan to try this Y strap, but we'll return back to this clip at the end of the video. So after those treatments, Dan asked me, how can I traction my own neck? Well, we have some options here that we can try. Well, here is the cheapest option, using a towel to pull the back of the neck up. And as Dan is demonstrating, this can be done at different angles. Here's another relaxing option for the neck, using a rolled up towel underneath the neck. It creates a nice stretch for the neck. It doesn't create much traction, but it can be very relaxing and help to alleviate neck pain. These specially shaped neck rests are an upgrade from the rolled up towel and you often find them under the name of the neck cloud. So we'll pop that underneath Dan's neck like so, rest his head on there and ask him what he thinks of that. My neck feels supported in a nice and comfortable position. Let's have a look at what's next. So we found this neck collar that has the inflatable cuff which inflates the neck collar and then starts to try and lift the head away from the shoulders. So let's let Dan inflate it right now and then ask him for his feedback. Okay, thanks Dan. So now you've pumped this up, what's your feedback on this neck traction device? It feels like I've got a blood pressure cuff around my neck. I don't feel much traction but uh, I can also feel the Velcro coming apart. So Dan, are you going to be using one of these to traction your own neck? No. Now these neck traction devices have been around for decades 
and I've had many positive reports from patients who have tried them. You can even get one with a water bladder that you fill with a certain amount of water and then hang on the contraption in order to create a consistent level of self-traction for your neck. So you need a bit of help setting this up and you'll need a quiet door that's not being used too frequently. Now, if you're worried about your head falling off, let's have a look at what they're doing in China. To be clear, we do not recommend doing this. It does feel better than the inflatable neck collar. So even though cervical traction is an ancient and well-used treatment, does the research still support its use? Well, in short, yes, it does seem to. And it seems to be most effective when nerve root irritation is present. For other types of neck pain, its benefits appear to be short term, and therefore it's recommended that it is combined with other forms of treatment, including exercise and also massage. It's also not clear from the research how much force, duration, and frequency gives you the best results. And it's also not clear from the research whether patients generally prefer manual traction or machine-based traction. Of all of the traction techniques we've done today, this one with the forearm rotation is my assistant Dan's preferred traction method. If you'd like to read some more research, we've put the references in the description below the video. We finish this video with an important message not to perform any technique you're not professionally trained to do. And we'll wrap this video up with a little comedy clip for you. See you in the next video.